Hello, hello. So what I got here is the Pringle Nest, I'm going to call it. So you take um, what you need is some kind of burning tool. Um, so you take Pringle Lids, which see-through, work really good. Um, this is what I use. I use um, see-through, not see-through, I use Pringle Lids. Pringle can lids because they're clear. Um, it might go in at the middle. That's okay though. So what I do is I take, as you can see, there's the um, middle area right there, and then you got the walls, which a Pringle can would be facing down like this. See, this one is upside down. So you just take one upside down put like that what I did was tape these together that's how you have to literally put them together is tape them or you can glue them whenever it's easier to tape them because you can take the tape off when you're done using it and clean out this so then I use this burning tool I have to do that which then I stick my tubing through there and I um well, tape it up around there, or you can glue, depending on which one you prefer. I prefer tape, because you can take it right off. Um, that's how you make the Pringle Nest. Well, I just call it the Pringle Nest, because it's using Pringle lids. But yeah, that's easy nest design. You can house carpenter ants. One time I was gone, and I had carpenter ant call me, I had caught which I still have one of my colonies. Um, this was, they had, um, they had moved into it while I was gone, so they preferred it, they liked it. So this is perfectly good for carpenter ants. Um, so yeah, just wanna show you guys the Pringle nest. And that's an easy nest to build, it's cheap. So, yeah. Bye.